Every living thing came from another living thing. But about four billion years ago, there was no life on Earth, just chemistry. So how do a bunch of dead chemicals come together to make something that's alive? Well, a living cell is basically just a bag filled with water and a few more complex molecules. Some molecules, like enzymes, extract energy from the environment and help build stuff the cell needs. And others, like DNA and RNA, store information and transmit it to tell a cell what to do. On their own, none of these molecules is really alive, but together they are. And what keeps them together is the bag, a cellular membrane. Without it, all those molecules would just drift apart, stop reacting, and be destroyed. So for life to arise from a bunch of non-living chemistry, you need bags floating around, randomly collecting all sorts of molecules. And most of the time, this will just give you junk. But sometimes, a bag will end up with molecules that react with each other. And some of those reactions will be able to sustain themselves. And some of those reactions will give off useful stuff, like stuff that allows a membrane to grow. And when it gets big enough, it may break apart and take some of those reacting molecules with it. Repeat this process for hundreds of millions of years, and eventually, you have something that starts to look a lot like life. <laughs>